Hi, welcome to Ankyridine. Acanthostega was a stem tetrapod among the first vertebrate animals to have recognizable limbs. It was an early tetrapod, an animal with four limbs which had fingers and toes. When the fossilized remains of this amphibian were first discovered, it was thought to prove that animals had evolved legs in order to free them from a life in water. Having legs meant they could move up on the land. However, when the limbs of Acanthostega were looked at closely, it was realized that there was an animal that was much more at home in water than on the land. Acanthostega had a mixture of fish-like and tetrapod features. It had a tail fin, nares, and gills of a fish, and the legs and feet of a tetrapod. Acanthostega had long limbs that ended in a digit, its fingers and toes. Its feet were wet, just like the feet of ducks and geese today. This would have helped Acanthostega to power through the water. Neither the spine or ribs were adapted to support its weight while on land. The legs, though large, lacked the joints and degrees of motion necessary for efficient terrestrial locomotion. The limbs of Acanthostega are a clue as to how it lived. Since its limbs lack wrists and ankle joints, it is thought that they would have been too weak to support its body weight out of the water. Thus, although it is possible that Acanthostega could walk on land, its morphological features suggest a primarily aquatic lifestyle. So perhaps Acanthostega spent most of his time in water, moving about by using its limbs as paddles. In shallow water, it might also have been able to use its limbs to push its way through dense growths of plants. They would also have allowed it to free itself if it beats itself in shallow water while pursuing prey. It had scales on its belly, but not on the rest of its body which, as in amphibians, was smooth. The scales suggest it needed to protect its soft underside, perhaps when it dragged itself onto dry land. These features suggest a predator suited for life in the Nibonian swamps. Acanthusaga had lungs as well as internal gills, and this lung backup would have allowed it to exploit the oxygen in the air as well, something that predatory fish wouldn't have been able to do. Its teeth and jaw are another key element of interest. A Canfustega jaw and teeth feature two fangs, which were more suited for biting on a prey. This terrestrial method of feeding suggests that it focused its hunting around the water edges as opposed to exclusively hunting submerged. It dwelled in lakes and ponds. A Canfustega means spiny roof. It was named by Eric Jarvik in 1952. Species include A. gunnery. The teeth of Acanthostega show that they were suited to catching fish and other small water living animals. It may have also caught small prey on land, thus it was a carnivore. It was relatively small at around 2 feet long. It has been found in eastern Greenland. It lived during the Femenian of the Demonian 365 or 370 million years ago. Fossil representation initially included only skull fragments, yet fortunately further fossils have been discovered making it one of the most completely preserved species. And with that, thank you for watching this program episode of Prehistoric Beasts as a short fact-based episode. This is Ankyridian, see you next time.